What's going on guys? Thanks for joining me. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to pause your pickleball game. I know I promised you a part two and a part three to the butterfly net video that I did a couple weeks back. If you have not yet seen that video, go back and check it out because this video today is gonna to be a direct follow-up to that. So the idea here is in the last video, I shared with you what I think is one of the best foundational tips that you can learn early on in your pickleball journey. And what I wanna do in this video series is build on that. So we had our first video with the butterfly net. Pretty simple, pretty basic. I think anybody could do it, even if you're a complete beginner. With each video, we're gonna get a little more complex and we're gonna take that simple concept and we're gonna learn how to apply it at higher levels. So in today's video, we're gonna address one of the most consistent pieces of advice that I hear from coaches, pro players, maybe even things that um, people notice when they watch pros play, and that is to slow down on the court. Probably the most common mistake I see at the rec level is players rushing their movements, rushing their shots, and playing too fast around the court. Obviously, if somebody tells you slow down out on the court, that's easier said than done. When we get out there in a game and we're playing, it's very easy to get caught up in the frenzy of all the action and everything that's happening. So today we're gonna to talk about some specifics of how we can learn to slow down and get a little bit better control in our shots and our movements around the pickleball court. Okay, so why am I showing you a baseball clip? Well, I wanna demonstrate the idea that slowing down before you execute is something that's prevalent in almost all sports. In baseball, if a fielder can get to the spot of the ball before the ball gets there, he's able to slow down which makes the execution, which is catching the ball, that much easier. If he is late to the spot, then everything ends up rushed and hurried, and the result looks something like this. So if we take a look at basketball, we'll see a similar dynamic. If you wanna get a good shot up, you have to be under control first. This is what it looks like when you're not in control, and Kobe's not real impressed, RIP. So in contrast, if we take a look at Clay Thompson, you're gonna see he's one of the best in the biz at gathering himself before he takes a shot. So whatever movement he's making, he's gonna get settled, he's gonna get his feet under him before he's taking that shot. Anyway, back to pickleball. Next time I'm gonna show some clips of myself practicing with my ball machine. And as much as it pains me, I've attempted to purposely demonstrate the wrong way to do it. You can see in these dinks that I'm hitting, I'm reacting quickly and then I'm not slowing down, I'm not getting set, I'm not hesitating, I'm not pausing. It's just one constant movement from my initial reaction all the way through the execution. So in this next set, I'm gonna go back to doing it correctly. The main difference you'll see here is I'm still reacting quickly, but as I'm getting to the spot, I'm trying to slow down or get myself paused before I hit the shot. So here's gonna be four more incorrect, followed by four more correctly again. Watch closely and see if you can spot the difference between the two. So next we're gonna take a look at what some ground strokes look like. Again, both incorrectly first and then correctly to follow that. If you remember back to the last video with the butterfly net, our goal there was to get the paddle stopped before we executed the shot. Our goal here in this next transition is to get our whole body to, I guess you could say stop, but that's not really realistic. We're gonna to try to get paused 
You could call it hesitating, you could call it gathering, but we're gonna try to get settled before we go to execute our shot. If you notice, my go-to practice partner for all these drills is my spin shot ball machine. I think it's the most advanced and most well-built ball machine on the market. And if you're in the market for a ball machine, definitely check it out and compare it to the others. I have a link in the description below if you'd like to learn more about it. Or if you use that link to purchase, you will get free shipping and a free cover included with that purchase. So let's take a look at some pro players now and see if we can spot these concepts in live gameplay. At the beginning of each point, I'm gonna highlight one specific person that I want you to watch for that whole entire point. As you're watching this, you're gonna notice that a lot of different elements uh, from past videos are coming together to create what we're trying to work on here. We've got the paddle being nice and calm and still, like we worked on in the butterfly net video. You're gonna see a lot of lunging that's gonna help control the body momentum, like we worked on in the lunging footwork video. And when we combine all these elements, we're gonna to start to get this sense of control and calm right before each shot is executed. So this is one of those things that I can't give you specific technical advice on. It's more of a mindset or an awareness type of thing. So next time you go out and play, if you're aware of how fast you're playing, how fast you're moving, how fast your brain is processing things, and you're consciously trying to slow that down, especially, like I said, in the moments right before you're about to impact each shot, then what you should notice out of that is a feeling or a sense of having more time. And that's always a good thing. If you feel like you have more time to react, more time to think, more time to process, more time to decide what you wanna do, it's always gonna be an advantage on the pickleball court. I hope this tip helps you out. Remember, in the next video is where things start to get pretty fun. So we've been working on slowing down, getting under control, and now all of that is building up to learning to develop our attacking game so we can start to take control of those points. As always, I love hearing your comments and feedback. Please like and subscribe if you like the content I'm putting out, and don't forget to check out the link below on that spin shot ball machine if you are in the market for one of those. Thanks, see you next time.